Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And in this video, we are doing the Curvy Country Road Test number seven. So this is the seventh iteration using software 2019.28.3.1 in our Model 3. So if you haven't seen my other test, I highly recommend you go over to my channel and I'll leave a link down in the description if you'd like to look at the entire playlist. It's really impressive and we're gonna actually jump back to test number one in this video. So stay tuned for the harder curves that are coming up. This first section of the road or this first section of the test is pretty easy. So as you can see here, the autopilot's doing a phenomenal job. And anytime you see on the center display, the two blue lines facing forward or the blue circle, that's how you know that we're in autopilot. Now I do go through a part in a town here, if you see my other videos, where I do have to disengage because it will not make a right-hand turn just yet. So we re-engage autopilot through this small town. There is a light, slight bend here, but there's a lot more traffic. And then once we get over these railroad tracks that are coming up, there's actually traffic on either side of the road as well. But as you can see here, the car does pass over these railroad tracks. I would love to have the uh, railroad tracks just kind of drop down right in front to see if the car would stop, but I've never ran into that situation, unfortunately. So we have what's really cool, if you look at the touch screen here, you can see where it's identifying the person walking in front of us. So the autopilot sees that person and stops for that person. I mean, how cool is that, right? So the car was just an autopilot there. We can actually see another person here. You have the um, firefighters doing some fundraising here, but so the autopilot was able to see that person as well, even though I did disengage, so we could throw some uh, money in the bucket. But anyway, so let's keep moving on. And we're gonna re-engage autopilot here, but there is a stop sign coming up, so we're gonna have to disengage once again and make a left-hand turn coming up here. Oh, hey, double hand wave, another Tesla. They didn't wave back. Aww. Maybe someday I'll see one of you guys in your Model 3 or another Tesla, and you guys will wave back to me. All right, so we're going around another curve here that's a short part of the road, so it's hard to engage, but we're engaged here, and now we are getting to the curviest part of this road. So here is this test number seven, and now we're gonna to jump to test number one. So this is the first version, test number one of this curvy country road test, and you can see results are pretty similar to test number seven. Now that is not at all the hardest curve, so stay tuned for that. So there is a curve right there. And now let's look at test number one. And as you can see, it's really kind of a slow bend to the right here. So it's not that difficult. Okay, now let's jump to this other curve. Whoa, that was a big truck. All right, and we have a really aggressive left curve that goes up. And so let's see how it takes it with test number seven. And that was really, really smooth. Okay, now let's jump back to test number one and see what happened there during test number one. So first we have this slight bend to the right, and this is test number one. I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit. You saw me manually do that. And now in test number one, we're approaching the big left turn, and you can see it kind of hugging that left-hand side a little bit more than I would like to, but we're gonna look back at that in slow-mo. So let's pull up test number seven. You can see that the car stays in the center of the lane. Just looking at those blue lines, you can tell that the Model 3 stays in the center thanks to that new autopilot compared to test number one where it's really hugging that left-hand side of the road. Now, it is doing a lot better and that's thanks to this path prediction that they unveiled at Autonomy Day. Super long video, but if you have the time, I would highly encourage you go watch that video. It's on Tesla's YouTube. Another slight curve here to the right which it handled really well. And then we have another left-hand curve here. This is all test number seven. This hidden left curve is really hard and the car is able to do it just like test number six, which is impressive. Now, if we look at test number one, you saw it was heading right for that embankment there. Test number one was definitely gonna hit that versus test number seven. Although it is hugging that right-hand side of the road, it's not like this heading straight for the dirt where I had to take over. So really impressive there because you can see that the autopilot system is actually improving from test number one through test number seven, little by little during each test. So now we have a slight bend here. This is test number seven, and this is a pretty easy curve, similar to the first part of the test here. But let's take a look, and this is test number one, and it does hug the left side a little bit more than I would have liked, 
although I did not take over because there was no oncoming traffic. Car is able to navigate these couple blind drop-offs, although the road is pretty straight fairly easily. It does help that this road is going pretty straight on this part of the road. Now let's jump to test number one and we can see through this slight curve, it does do a pretty good job. I would say very similar to test number seven on this stretch of road going straight ahead. All right, now let's look at this really sweeping big right turn that's like a blind turn. The autopilot is staying right in the middle of the road. It is really doing a great job on that blind turn there. Let's take a look now at test number one and we can see that the autopilot is doing about the same, hugging that left side just a hair more than test number seven. Then we move to that sharp left turn. And now let's look back at test number one. And I would say it's very similar on most of these turn curves. The biggest thing I notice is that on most of these curves during test number seven versus test number one is Test number seven, the car is actually staying in the center of the lane more versus test number one, I feel like it moves in the lane right to left or left to right, depending on the curve. Another really difficult left-hand curve coming up here where it kind of goes up and then back down and test number seven did a really good job there. So let's look at test number one and you can see that it really got over to that right edge there. Let's take another look at that in slow-mo and pay attention to where the car is displayed on the UI on the touchscreen. And it does go to the right a little bit, but nothing compared to test number one where it is like almost over the blue line. I know it's hard to see in the video, but pretty impressive improvement there. So right-hand turn sharp there that's blind as well. And another one from test number one. And I actually had to disengage because it was getting ready to go over the double yellow line versus test number one here you can see that the car is staying pretty much in the center of the blue lines there. It's really confident making that turn and makes me as a driver confident versus test number one here, if that same truck that was coming in test number seven, you can see that the car actually goes over the yellow line there. So I had to take over because it's just unsafe. Now here is the last big curve here. Test number seven does a phenomenal job there. Stays in the center of the lane for the most part, a little bit to the right. And here is test number one, and it goes pretty far over to the right, but is able to pass and I don't have to take over. If you haven't seen that playlist yet, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for you guys to go check out that playlist. If you like this channel and you like the videos, please consider going over to Patreon and supporting this channel for as little as $1 a month. Thank you so much to all of you that have already gone over there and decided to support this channel. It really does mean a lot. I couldn't do this without you guys. There's so much great content specifically to Patreon, so make sure you go over there and check it out. Patrons at higher tiers also get early access to YouTube videos. I wanna give a special shout out to our man Amin and Akram Atul. They are both supporting me at the all electric level. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and I will see you guys in the next one.